when I read the script, I knew I had to be a part of it because Mike has this way of telling real world stories in a way that you're getting a lesson and you don't realize it and you're enjoying yourself, but it really makes you ponder, you know, or assess your own life. And I just wanted to be a part of something that, that made people have these conversations because it's a very important one. And I love the way he tackled it. So yeah, after I read the script, I was ready. A story about a biracial girl played by Jillian Estelle, newcomer, uh, who is uh, in the middle of a custody battle between her white grandfather, played by Kevin Costner, and myself. I play Rowena. And um, it's uh, definitely a drama, but it, 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 it plays out like real life. You, you run the gamut of emotions when watching this film. There's just something about Mike when you sit down with him. A, I knew I was going to be in, a, in, in, in wonderful hands because he is the master of pathos and humor, of blending those two worlds to make it feel like real life. Rowena is the matriarch of a very large family, and every person in the family has an import and, and uh, value. And because of her relationship with her son, who is struggling with drug addiction, played by the great Andre Holland, um, there's a void because she doesn't have as much of a relationship or as strong as a relationship with Eloise as she'd like. Elliot Anderson is being played by Kevin Costner. And if Rowena is the matriarch of the film, Elliot is definitely the patriarch who has suffered tremendous losses. He loses his daughter, and we find that out through the backstory. And very early on in the script, he loses his wife. So the last bastion of the life that he knew is his granddaughter. And, of course, Rowena wants to take that grandchild away. This is so far removed from any other character that he's played. It's just a very dark character that he shines a little light um, uh, on uh, to, and you, you, you feel for him. At the same time, you hate him. At the same time, you love him. And at the same time, you want to hug him. Like, there's all these emotions that you feel towards him that you can't really just put into one little, it's not just one, word. one word. He's just all over the place and it's wonderful, it's wonderful. It's a great character study. It's a great uh, study of human interaction. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just, I, he's taken my breath away. Every time Mike says action, it's just, you're so intent. <laughs> you're like, oh, I wanna see what, what he's, he's gonna do next. It's, it's amazing. Mike Binder is a comedic genius. And the fact that he is a comedic genius makes him even more so a dramatic writer in that he can emulate life on the page in, in, in a way that is um, true to life. You're not always laughing, so life is not always played out as a, you know, a comedy. And you're certainly not always crying, so it's not this drama. It has peaks and valleys and um, funny moments in the most uh, dire of times and poignant moments in the most, um, I don't know, humorous of times. And, and that's what you find in his work. The way Mike presents his, his, the character of Elliot, it's very real life. And it's very much a conversation I think that needs to be had and I, I, I love that he doesn't shy away from it. I love that it's sort of a, a mirror to, to um, what's going on kind of in our culture right now, in our society. So this is a very important conversation that we're having uh, and it's uh, one that I feel is playing out uh, in real time.